The National Weather Service issues just under 3,000 tornado warnings across the country each year year. In Indiana, severe thunderstorms produce 23 tornadoes annually as part of severe weather preparedness week. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Gregory talked to a Greenwood family impacted by a tornado last June about the next generation of storm warnings. The tornado interrupted an otherwise beautiful day. I remember I, I think it was her father said, yeah, there's a storm coming. So I looked at my phone. Paula started screaming to her son. He was asleep upstairs. He was in bed and we're screaming, William, get down here. William, William, William. Well, we're just screaming, screaming, screaming. And we're all in this little bathroom, you know. The family emerged to a new landscape. Over 40 trees were uprooted, snapped off, or heavily damaged, but their family was okay. I had a long conversation with Paula and Craig Boaz of Greenwood about the day that changed their view of storms forever. We talked about the next generation of storm warnings. Research currently being done in Oklahoma at the National Severe Storms Laboratory will enhance safety for all in the path of future storms. This is uh, bringing weather modeling um, into the warning operations, into the city level, county level details. These are things that traditionally meteorologists have relied almost entirely on radar, satellite, and, and storm spotter reports. Um, now we have the computing power these days um, to add a weather modeling component to that. One area of research called Threats in Motion focuses on the warning outline. Right now, polygon warnings are stationary. The storm itself is moving, but not the warning. The Threats in Motion will allow that polygon to just move with the storm very seamlessly. And so if you think about the folks who are outside of that first polygon, um, they're going to receive earlier notice just by the fact that that, that polygon is in motion. The goal is to update warning details every half mile and every two minutes to provide a nearly continuous risk assessment. To have the real-time app in front of us that's showing us the trajectory of the storm and not just a siren in the distance will be really nice. Also potentially life-saving. Computing capabilities becoming so much greater. Um, that we can have confidence in some of the details earlier than we used to. Meteorologists are already practicing behind the scenes with threats in motion and other experimental severe weather programs. These new tools will hopefully be implemented by the end of the decade. A statewide test of communication systems will take place this Tuesday morning at 1015 AM, activating outdoor warning sirens. Now, this is a great time to make sure you have a way to receive warnings and a plan to enact when severe weather threatens. The WRTV Storm Shield app is free and will automatically send you notifications if you are in a warned area.